The General Data Protection Regulation, or GDPR, is a set of rules designed to protect the personal data of individuals in the European Union. As a website owner, it's important that you understand these rules and how they apply to your site. In this video, we'll go over some key points to help you ensure that your website is GDPR compliant. So let's get started with our GDPR compliance checklist for websites. First, Data Audit. The first step in ensuring GDPR compliance of your website is to determine what personal data you hold. This means understanding what types of personal data you collect, where it is stored, and who has access to it. You should also consider whether the data includes sensitive personal data and whether you have appropriate safeguards in place to protect it. In addition, you should consider whether your website collects personal data from minors and why you require this data. You should also review how you have retained consent for processing personal data and how long you need to keep it before it can be deleted or anonymized. Finally, you should review any third parties that hold personal data on your behalf and ensure that they have appropriate measures in place to protect the data from unauthorized access or use. The next step is to secure your website. This includes installing an SSL certificate, using strong passwords, adding extra layers of protection, using antivirus software, and regularly backing up data. Next, update your privacy policy. Your privacy policy should be easily accessible and explain how you collect, use, and disclose personal data. It should also explain users' rights and your obligations to them. Consent is a big part of GDPR. Therefore, for any services you use on your website, you need users' consent to collect and use their data for it. That brings us to the next key point. Get consent for emails. If you use email marketing services, you need permission from your users to send emails. This can be done through a double opt-in process, where users have to verify their email addresses before receiving emails. Next, add a cookie banner. If your website uses non-necessary cookies, you need to inform users about this and get their consent before storing cookies on their devices. Next, check forms on your website. If your website has any forms that collect personal data, you must ensure that they include a privacy statement, an opt-in option, and a link to your privacy policy. Next, review third-party services. You should ensure that any third-party services or companies that you use directly or indirectly are GDPR compliant. Next, review international data transfer. If you transfer personal data from the EU to non-EU countries, you should ensure that you have done necessary risk assessments and that the recipient country or service provides an adequate level of data protection. Next, provide data rights provision. Web users have the right to obtain information about the personal data you hold about them and to request that it be corrected or deleted. Your website should provide an easily accessible way for users to exercise these rights. And lastly, analyze and mitigate data breaches. In the event of a data breach, you should block access to your website, conduct a thorough investigation, notify the appropriate authorities and affected users, update your policies and procedures, and prepare a plan of action for future breaches. That brings us to the end of this checklist. In conclusion, following a GDPR checklist for websites is crucial for ensuring compliance and protecting the personal data of your website visitors. To make sure you're meeting all of the GDPR cookie consent requirements for your website, sign up for Cookie Yes today. With our user-friendly solution, you can easily manage cookies on your website and create a customizable consent banner to obtain consent for cookies and comply with GDPR. Sign up now to get started.